we're going to look at this trial and improvement question here. So it tells us that it's a trial and improvement question. It tells us it wants the answer to one decimal place and that we must show all of our working out. If we don't show all our working out on these type of questions, then we'll not get the full marks. This would be on a calculator paper, so obviously we're going to use a calculator to do this question. It gives us the equation, it tells us it has a solution between 3 and 4 and as we've already said we need the answer to one decimal place. So we need to draw a table. We need our x in here because that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the value of x. If we put the equation in here, it just helps us to put the right numbers in when we're substituting and we're looking to see whether our answers are too high or too low so we'll just put H and L. Some people put big and small, B and S, that's absolutely fine. Tells us the solutions between 3 and 4 so we're going to start with 3.5 which is halfway in between so every time we've got the X we're going to replace it with 3.5 so we're going to have 3.5 cubed and we're going to add 3 times 3.5 Remember that a number next to a letter in maths means that we're going to multiply. So I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to put that into the calculator. So I'm going to do 3.5 cubed. I'm going to use this cube button here just at the top of the calculator. And we're going to add 3 times 3.5. Remember to press our SD button and that gives us an answer of 53.375. Now... 53 is obviously much bigger than 41, so that answer is too high. So we know the answer's got to be less than 3.5, because 3.5 is too high, it's got to have a solution that's less than 3.5. So we're now going to try 3.4. So this time, every time we had an x, we're going to replace it with 3.4. So we're going to have 3.4 cubed, we're going to add 3 times 3.4, and again we're going to use the calculator to do that. So we've got 3.4 cubed, Add 3 times 3.4 and we get 49.504 which is still too high. So now I'm going to try 3.3. Got 3.3 cubed and we're going to add 3 times 3.3. Again we're going to use the calculator. And we get 45.837, still too high, we'll now try 3.2, 3.2 cubed, add 3 times 3 3.2. 42.368 still too high. Very close now to 41 but we've still got an answer that's too high. We're now going to try 3.1. So we'll get 3.1 cubed, add 3 times 3.1. 39.091. Now that is too low. 39 obviously is lower than 41, so we've got to put an L there. So we've now got this solution falling between two numbers. It's somewhere in between 3.1 and 3.2. Once we've got it at this stage where it's in between two numbers, one being too high and one being too low, we draw our number line along the bottom. We'll put the 3.1 to the left, and that was too low. And we'll put the 3.2 to the right, and we'll put an H for too high. We need the number halfway in between, so the number that become that is halfway in between 3.1 and 3.2, and that would be 3.15. So we're now going to put that value into our table, and we're going to have 3.15 cubed, add 3 times 3.15. Again, we're going to use the calculator. And we get quite a long decimal number this time. I'm just going to round that to three decimal places. So I'm going to write that down as 40.0, sorry, 40.706. 
and that is too low. 40.7 is lower than 41. So we're going to put our L here on our number line to say that, that um, 3.15 is too low. That means the solution's got to fall somewhere in between here. And wherever it falls in between here, to one decimal place, it would round up to 3.2. So because this is too low, put the arrow going up that way, we'll circle the 3.2, and that is what we write on our answer line. So the final solution to that equation is 3.2.